Hi guys, Tropical Snow Geckos here and today pag-usapan natin ang mga leopard gecko morph na kinoconsider ng iba as problematic. Intervention of mankind to breeding animals had existed long long time ago. Because of this intervention, we managed to produce animals which were designed specifically in accordance to the category that they belong to. Kaya nga sa mga dogs, for example, may mga toy groups, sporting groups, working groups, herding groups, at kung ano pa ang mga groups. Unfortunately, we cannot perfect the genetics of breeding, thus there are animals which are produced na may known issues, such as chihuahuas and pugs, known for having breathing and breathing difficulties. Yung mga spider ball bite pythons are known for having wobbles, mga silk butt bearded dragons na may shedding and skin issues. Unfortunately, just like the animals that I've mentioned, hindi na excuse sa mga leopard gecko dito. Thus, may mga leopard gecko na kinoconsider na problematic ang kanilang mga morph. So today, pag-uusapan natin yung mga leopard geckos na may known or tied issues sa kanilang mga respective na morphs. Just a disclaimer, I do not own any Lemon Frost or Enigma Leopard Gecko. So every pic or videos na makikita nyo about sa mga nasabing morph are lifted from internet. So let's start with the Enigmas. Enigmas were first produced noong 2006. They are considered as a dominant trait. Um, they have speckled body and white tails. Enigma gene is unfortunately tied with a neurological disorder. Some enigmas will show the issue more obvious than the others. Some will not even show it until they mature. There are few breeders out there who claim na nagde-develop ang neurological issue right after females lay their eggs. Because of this issue, you would observe na nakatingala ang enigma or what they call stargazing or para siyang disoriented gumalaw. Because of this as well, meron silang bad aim and the tendency is you have to hand feed them. Here is an example of a leopard gecko that has an enigma syndrome. Notice nyo na lang kung paano siya gumalaw or kung gano'ng ka-weird yung mga galaw niya. Next, we have the super snows. Although it's still considered as a controversial topic, super snows are known or are notorious to be picky eater. Since picky eaters sila, they also tend to grow slower compared sa mga ibang morph. And ang tendency is kahit lumaki na sila, maliit pa din sila compared sa iba. Seldom kang makakakita ng super snow na chunky or mataba kasi nga um, dahil picky eater sila, mas nahuhuli yung growth rate nila kumpara sa iba. And ang tendency is nabibreed sila ng mas maliit kumpara sa ibang morph. Some people say it's not really genetic. Um, the reason why super snow are really small is because of the gene pool that they had. Kasi when super snow was discovered, ang ginawa ng mga breeder is na mass produce sila. And that's the reason why the super snow are actually picky eater or are smaller. So this is because of inbreeding. 
Now I can attest with this kasi this season I have produced few super snows and napansin ko compare sa mga kapiri nilang hatchling medyo mas mabagal talaga silang lumaki at medyo kailangan nilang i-hand feed minsan sa sobrang piki nila. So here I'm showing a super snow white and yellow and yung kapatid niyang white and yellow from the same clutch. You would notice na mas chunky or mas malaki talaga yung white and yellow compared dun sa super snow white and yellow. So here's another side by side comparison ng isang super snow raptor versus sa kapatid niyang snow eclipse tramper albino na possible white and yellow. Next, sa mga problematic morph is what we call lemon frost. Lemon frost was discovered in 2015. They are considered as co-dominant and their very distinct coloration is because of a cell called chromatophores. Now, chromatophores are the cells responsible for the coloration of few animals such as octopus, the cuttlefish, uh, meron ding squid, and meron din ang mga chameleons. Unfortunately, unlike the animals mentioned, genetic mutation ang nangyari sa leopard gecko and the chromatophores itself are the reason kung bakit nagkakaroon ng mga tumor ang mga leopard gecko na merong lemon frost na morph. Efforts were made to try to clear out the tumors but no success claimed so far. But who knows, it's just been 5 years since na-discover ang lemon frost. Hopefully, magawa ng paraan na ma-separate yung chromatophores sa mga tumors para makaproduce tayo ng animals na mas healthy at hindi susceptible for tumors or lesions. So if you would observe this um, pictures of leopard gecko sa mga jaws nila, sa mga tagiliran, makikita nyo may mga lumps. Um, those are actually the tumors na nagiging result ng morph nila or basically because of the chromatophores. Next morph, we have the so-called white and yellow. White and yellow was discovered on 1996, characterized by having enhanced color, bright white tails, reduced spottings, and high white sides. Although this is not confirmed yet, but some breeders claim that white and yellows have equilibrium issues. So unlike Enigma na merong neurological disorder, ang mga white and yellow naman have balance disorder or balance issues. Because of this so-called issue, they tend to look like na nagsi-second guess sila sa mga steps nila or para silang nahihilo. So kung yung white um, enigma rather is nakatingala or nagsi-stargaze, yung mga white and yellow naman para silang nahihilo pag naglalakad. As someone who keeps white and yellow, I cannot agree with this um, issue kasi for the past two seasons na nakapag-produce ako ng white and yellow, I am fortunate enough na hindi ko may experience ang um, leopard gecko with white and yellow morph na merong equilibrium or balance issue. But just to give you an idea kung ano yung itsura ng leopard gecko na may equilibrium or balance issue, let me show you a video na nakita ko sa YouTube. Um, credit sa owner ng video na to.
The white and yellow jean, however, compared to the Enigmas, is considered as not that much of an issue kasi yung mga breeder mismo na nagkiklaim ng white and yellow syndrome are saying na the syndrome or the issue slowly diminish or unti-unti siyang nawawala as the white and yellow leopard gecko matures or grow up. And that's it for the video today. Hopefully, meron po kayong natutunan. Always remember that the only difference between beauty and fear is knowledge. Please show us some love by subscribing to our channel, clicking the like button, hitting the notification, and leaving a comment down below. Bye guys!